Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming with another episode of my Road to Glory and my Road to 100 Goals, where we try to get Victor Abaru to 100 Goals and try to get to Division 1 at the same time. But as you can see, we made two upgrades to our 4 one 2 one 2 side. We got Marquisio, which I don't know if he's an upgrade of Magrida yet, even though there's a 13 rating between them. Marquisio isn't really solid at the back, so it might be more of an offensive option. And we got Chiellini in place of Caceres, because I believe Caceres wasn't the most solid. His tackling was questionable at times, to say the least. So yeah, two upgrades, and in the next episode, I'm actually gonna upgrade um, Marquisio Ketty for Buffon because um, Marchetti has been questionable but this guy it was a pretty good counter-attack good passing to be fair but it was kind of a case of I was getting the chances and I wasn't taking them or I was unlucky with the chances actually I think I was unlucky with the chances because there was one corner kick where I was just incredibly lucky and scored it but it's the way it goes. See, Pato threw on goal. He scores this and it makes it two goals to nil. And it's just unfortunate because I was the better player here. But it was one of those games where you knew it wasn't going your way. Now, people say that's FIFA, but that's actually football. You need to remember it happens real life in football. You're winning most of the time and you concede. Like, at the end of the Chelsea Bayern Munich game, you don't say, Oh, that was EA's fault. It was your fault. <laughs> it's just the way it goes at times there's actually zero you can do about it and unfortunately I applied a contract card to a barbo by mistake so that's a few um that's around well 200 300 coins down the drain but here we just come up against this um really good 4-3-3 side but this guy all he could do over top through ball to a bamiang chips over he misses and we are on the counter attack he's not on the ball he actually does a really good dribble here and a fantastic through ball to say the least but a bonner on the field he fake shots inside i wanted to give myself a bit more time and a bit more space edison does what he do does best on that edge of the box area he's probably one of the best players i've played with on fifa because edge of the box he just takes and he scores it is simple with edison in your side he is a class player i will admit that he's a very very good cheap beast which is why i haven't sold him yet and bought a different player but this guy wasn't really going anywhere i was just holding my ground with marquisio waiting for the right time he crosses it in kind of a really hasty bad cross but do a nice skill move there give it into lewis muriel and i try to chip um over the keeper it doesn't really work to be perfectly honest and he gets the ball back but luckily I do a really nice head of clearance actually and Edison into Muriel he shoots well actually he cuts it back for Victor and Barbo which seems to be the only way I can score with him at this moment in time because he's actually only gonna score two goals in two episodes including the previous episode since I've been back on my holiday and it isn't that he hasn't had the chances it's just been an inch or two wider and he would have scored but here he makes a horrific mistake Lewis Muriel on the ball scores and it was a good solid finish to be perfectly fair but like I said this guy the only threat he showed me was when he did um, a through over the top through ball to Aubameyang and if he did down for 13 this guy might have been 5-0 perhaps 5-6-0 Chiellini scores a debut goal for us though um good headed goal he's more of a threat in the air because when I tried him before he did seem to be a lot better at corners than most players so he might get a goal or two but just a little upgrade to the side and as you can see that is the way the game finishes to make it four goals to nil and the title of this video is actually going to be on the lines of epic free kick which you're about to see and if you know who's good at free kicks you can probably guess who is going to score this first goal but this guy just changed kits in my opinion obviously lots of players disagree with this but if you're on your away team 
you should change your kit for the home team. That's the way I kind of look at it. But here, this guy takes him out and doesn't even get a yellow card for it. Ridiculous. But it was actually a really good 4-on-2-on-2 two two on two side. I was very worried about it because lots of teams seem to be better than mine, to be perfectly honest. But as you can see, this guy was good around the wall. He does a shot and he scores a lovely 33-yard free kick. You don't really get to see many power free kicks in this game, so scoring one like that was incredibly nice through the wall, actually, which was incredibly poor. Now, you guys were saying, oh, the keeper would have been, keeper would have saved that easily, dot, dot, dot. What you have to know is when it goes through the wall, the keeper's line of sight, he sees the ball late, which is why it went in. It was a pretty pathetic dive by the keeper, and Guarin scores his second of the game. And it's just his day, to be perfectly fair. But he sees it late, which lots of people don't notice in FIFA. If the keeper sees it late, it's like, instead of a 30-yard shot, it can be a 12-yard shot. That's how much it can affect him. But what happens here is Eto scores here. Unfortunately, he gets a pretty good through ball, actually. And a nice finish. But that's the end of the video. So like, subscribe. And it's been Woody Mark Malvia. See you guys.